This week we're wrapping up our back to school early series by wrapping up some special school lunches. Parents know the challenge of creating lunches that kids will actually eat. So chef and mom Domenica Catelli, author of Mamalicious, is uh, here with some great ideas this morning. And this is a parent's nightmare. It can be trying to get their kids to eat bag lunches. It is true. And I just want to confess, my daughter's now 14. I've been through this in kindergarten. She was throwing away her sandwiches. So I needed to come up with a solution that worked as well. So and you think some works. of this stuff works? Absolutely. The biggest time-saving tip that I love is freezer sandwiches. Do you, have you heard about this? No. Okay. So if you want to spread some peanut butter on there, what, I'm going to do some jelly. You could do this with- This is almond butter. And this is almond peanut. butter. Okay. Yes. Okay. And that was my, one of my other things to say is you don't have to use peanut butter. Almond butter is fantastic. Have you ever had it? I have, yeah. I love the but flavor But not typically on PB&J's. Right, so you could do the ABNJ, and this gets another flavor for also for people who don't like peanuts higher in calcium. You make a bunch of these on Sunday night. You can do almond butter and jelly. You can also do turkey and cheese. You can do any of your sandwiches that you like, except for you wouldn't put lettuce and tomato. Make a bunch of them, and then you freeze them. And you freeze a week's worth, you freeze a month's worth, and then you take them out in the morning. They're unthawed by lunch. Fresh, delicious, done. But the kid's not eating the same thing every single day, so we've got some more suggestions here. Exactly. So here we have the, tur it's a little bit of a twist on the turkey and cheese. So we have turkey and cheese, and then we're doing sun-dried tomato with oh, it. Oh, very nice. So a little paste. A little sun-dried tomato paste. And here is, you can buy this already made. You can also make it really simply. You can mix a little bit of mayonnaise with it. It tastes delicious. And a lot of kids don't like tomatoes on their sandwiches because they do get soggy, the, the tomato can. And this is a great solution. A lot of flavor. They still get health benefits from the tomato and it's simple and delicious. So you can make it like this and maybe add the paste in the morning if you wanted no, you to, if you would do don't this. want it to this get soggy? No, this would be another one of your freezer sandwiches. It won't be soggy. That's the great thing about it. You would put it on your I sandwich see. and you would have these in the freezer all cut up. And so the good thing is also if you have multiple kids and yep. you have kids who want different flavors, you you don't have to go through being a short order cook in the yeah, morning, which little, none of us want to do. They get a little bit of variety. I know that you're big on making home sodas. Yes. Absolutely. Which doesn't have the same amount of sugar, right, as and the stuff you buy? No, the, a lot of the ones that you buy can have up to 10 teaspoons, almost a quarter cup of sugar. So it's amazing the amount of sugar I, they put in those. It is, and then they're bouncing off the walls and yeah. we're wondering why. But here, what all we're doing is taking a great organic juice and some sparkling water. This is apricot peach juice. Yes, and use whatever flavors that your kids like, and then you add the sparkling water, you put it also, pour it into their to-go reusable container, goes into the lunch box, it's fantastic. A little mint? You're, yes, that you can do the mint in there, and this is for you if you're, Want a little spritzer morning soda, this little energy boost. So, so, so mom and dad simple. can have some too. Yes, and that can turn into an evening drink as well. Okay. So, up next, we have some soups. And always this, important. I mean, as we get a little cooler, we're humid right yeah, now. It's hard to think of soup right now, but it yeah. is, and it's also a great time saving tip. It's thinking about bringing the thermos back. When I was a kid, there was a thermos in my lunchbox, so they don't have them anymore. You buy them separate, but they are a great thing for lunch, that, especially when it gets cooler, but you can make a big batch for the week and then every day you heat it up in the morning and then it goes in and this is a wonderful high protein creamy tomato soup. So it's that classic type of tomato soup that kids are used to, but this is much better for them and so simple to make. And you got all different kind of size thermoses too. So the kid doesn't have to take the big monstrous thermos. They can always take the smaller one as well, right? Right. So if you have the kids in who are into sports and the boys that are growing, you get the big one for your little kids. You have the smaller sizes that are available. You can put chilies in here. You can do stew, all different things that you could heat up and bring for the week, which is a great time and easy money saving tip as well. Very cool and, and relatively healthy as well. And speaking all of healthy, healthy, our last one is definitely healthy. <laughs> if, if we can get the kids to eat this, we're talking about lettuce wraps. Yes, this is a twist on uh, doing a sandwich instead of bread, we're using lettuce. And I've found that kids will really actually enjoy this. First, you give them some choices, which is a big deal with kids. So they can say, what, what do you want in here? It's almost like their homemade Lunchable. And it's all about getting, making Let's sure make they one. get crispy. Yeah, do Let's one for one. So what yeah, would yeah. you like in there? Well, everything. Why don't we do, we'll, 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 we'll put some carrots in there. I mean, am I putting this in the yes, middle and then just rolling it around? in the middle, there's no rules in the lettuce wrap. So that's a great thing. You get to have fun with it. The kids do. You get hummus in there or you could do it at the side kind of like a taco too. If you don't want to roll it, you just pick it up and yeah. you're done. That easy. Kids and, are happy, hopefully. Yes. And then the other thing I want to mention is getting snacks in that are healthy. So if you get a chance, get some organic snacks, put them in the lunchbox and fill it in that way. Domenica Catelli, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Go on our website, earlycshow.cbsnews.com.